So I arrived here in Broome in 2003, and in the 15 years since I've been here, the fishing, so when I first started coming here, the populations of Threadfin and Barramundi in the bay were practically zero in my opinion. I, I've fished a lot of places in the world, and I'm not just saying it because it's in my backyard, but phenomenal. Like, anybody that should come here, spends harder than cash, will, if they get the good day, be rewarded for it. Simple as that. Fishing is, uh, you know, it's right up there with one of the, one of the most important things for the town, I, I'd say. I mean, you only have to look at the, uh, you know, per head of population and boat ownership in, in Broome and participation rates in Broome, it's very important. Years ago, when the netting was still happening and, and shortly after it, it ended, um, there were fish to be caught, but it was more inconsistent. We would have more days where we struggled to find salmon. Blue salmon, mulloway, things like that were, they're catchable but they were pretty hard to get. Uh, over the period up to say 2009, 2010, you could pretty much write everything off, well, at least for me anyway, was really struggling to catch anything in the bay. People realise that they're, they're worth more to us having the fish around, not wiping them out, so. Well, all these tinnies here wouldn't have been here 10 years ago and probably wouldn't be here if there was still this, the, the past fisheries management regime in place. We noticed a lot of fish came back with a lot more better catches. Since the licence was bought out from the local netters in, in Dampier, Creek, Dampier Creek and Roebuck Bay, the threadfin salmon has, has increased tenfold the fishing. Now we've just seen average sizes are in general bigger. It's a lot easier to catch larger fish. Um, there has been a change. We've, we've noticed um, when we fish off land and when we fish on the boat, you can actually see the bubbles around in the water and, and you know what that is. The first good tide I had early 2014, nailed nine fish in the first day. Up to that point in time, from 2003 to 2014, I'd caught one. Like, to me, that's pretty phenomenal fishing. Treddies could definitely uh, get up to the category that the Barramundi are in as a really high pri highly prized sports fish. Threadfin salmon is a, a fast becoming an icon of this part of the world. Um, it has been a, a, a long sought after target. Yeah, they're just a great fish to catch, great sport fish to catch. Oh, they're just cruisy. They're just cool fish. The actual advantage of people actually being able to go and catch fish again has been fantastic. Oh, well, I mean, you, you just have to look at our numbers now and, you know, the fishing club's probably a, a, a good place to start. The fishing is unbelievable. The boats, you see the boats coming back today, it's phenomenal. The fly-on effects for town are great. People spend more money on fuel and food. The, the town itself is thriving again, just on this alone. It's, it's magnificent. Absolutely, it's only going to get better. It's just a great way to get out there and experience all the natural beauty that Broome has to offer. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just part of the lifestyle of Yarra people. It's, it's not just a food that we go out and have fun catching, it's, it's, it's also part of who we are. I saw yesterday, you know, first hand that, that all the boats around catch it and the joys of everyone yahooing, so it's good to see. The experience itself isn't just about the fishing, it's always been about it with your mates, with your family uh, and just being amongst nature. It's incredible fishing. It's just the best. 